good morning. I'm taking a tour of 170 Teal Hollow Drive, and I'm gonna start outside. It's very windy though, so if you can't hear me, that's why. Um, what you need to know about the outside of this house is this whole neighborhood is gorgeous. So let's take a look. I'm gonna flip the camera around. So what you'll see is that all of the houses have these beautiful garage doors. They all match. So there's the front of across the street, neighbor. They're all big, beautiful houses. That's the neighbor's house. And then here's this house. Beautiful manicured front of the house. Man manicured lawn. And then the best part is there's a park right across the street. So sorry that the neighbor's cars are in the way, but big, beautiful park. It has a playground, has soccer fields on the other side. So nice place for the kiddos to go run and play, a trail around the park to walk the dogs. Now we will start with the inside of the house. We're gonna start at the front door. So we have these side lights here. They have uh, blinds in them, so for privacy. Nice solid wood door. We're gonna call this the colorful house. Tile entry all the way to the back door, and there are wood floors downstairs. Dining room in the front, window coverings. Formal living window coverings. This one has a tall ceiling and the staircase is open. And it's open through to the informal living room. Sorry for a little jiggly of the camera. This looks out to your backyard, which is gorgeous. I'll go out there in a minute. Fireplace. The master bedroom is back through there. Master bedroom is the only bedroom downstairs. We do have a gas fireplace. There is a coat closet there. That's the only set of stairs going upstairs. You have the wrought iron baluster going upstairs. Then you have this beautiful kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. Gas stove. The pantry is small. That is the only pantry. We do have a lot of cabinets. The whole island is all cabinets. There's where your refrigerator goes. You can have a very tall refrigerator and a pretty deep one too because the, there's a very large space here see how it's all cabinets here. So small pantry, but lots of cabinets. Eat-in kitchen. So you do have the formal dining room, but you have this breakfast pan, uh, breakfast nook, sorry. And then you have a door to the backyard. We'll go out there next. So I'm out in the backyard and Part of your backyard is this brick wall. There's a road behind here, but it leads to into this neighborhood. And this building right behind me is a retirement home, so it'll be quiet. Um, there's also a community college back over in this direction. And then Preston Road is just further over here. So if you hear any traffic noises, it's Preston Road. Um, someone has attempted to start a, a small garden and then there's more um, attempts of the garden over here. You would probably maybe know what some of these things are here. A large vine growing. But the best part is they put in a really nice sidewalk around the house. It goes all the way to the front to the uh, driveway. But this is all stone with a completely covered patio. So you can sit out in the rain, built in. Uh, bench and then there's a complete kitchen out here
All you'll need is a propane tank, you have a little refrigerator, and look at all the space. You even have outlets. So, nice size yard. They've been maintaining it since it's been vacant. Plenty of space to do some gardening. The fence has been well maintained as well. Someone is taking very good care of this property. Let's go look at the master. The master is down this hallway. It's a really nice large room. It has carpet. There is a door to the patio, to the backyard. Let the little puppy dog out in the morning. It's a soft blue color in here. Ceiling fan. Lots of wall space for dressers and TV. You can put your bed wherever you'd like. And then the master bathroom is here. Tile. Lots of cabinets. You have a window for natural light. There's a large corner tub. It's not a jetted tub, but it is a nice big soaking tub. You have a water closet here. And there is another cabinet for storage in here. There is a stand-up shower. It is nice and clean. These are things I look for in rentals. It smells clean, that's important. It has a shelf. The shower head's up nice and high in case you're a tall person. And then the closet, which is the most important, of course. I think it's nice and big. I hope you think so too. It goes way back in here. And around the corner. This is the hallway right outside of the master bedroom. There is a powder bathroom for your guests when they're downstairs. There is a laundry room that has a washer and dryer in it. The two car garage, which is at the front of the house, that's the door right there. So we are at the top of the stairs right now and there is a bedroom right here at the front of the house. Nice big bedroom, large window. It's a really nice shade of blue. I think it's the same as the master bedroom and there's a nice big walk-in closet. Most of the secondary bedrooms are on this side of the house over the master bedroom. So when you go down the hallway, there is bedroom number three, another really nice size, big bedroom, another walk-in closet, built-ins. No ceiling fan in this one. There's a linen closet. Bedroom number four. This one has a little bit darker blue color. Another, not walk-in closet, but it's a long closet. This one has a ceiling fan. So these three rooms are over here on this side above the master bedroom. And then we have a nice, clean, full-size bathroom here. One sink. And then on the other side <clears throat> of the house, when you go across the bridge, we do have, well, you see in front of you, another full-size bathroom. Nice and clean again. One sink. And you have a game room on this side. Nice big room. And on the other side, you have one more bedroom, the last bedroom. And this is another really nice size room. It has two windows. This is the front of the house. It has a window on the side of the house too. And it has a smaller closet. I would say this is the smallest closet in all of the closets. So it does have carpet in all of the upstairs bedrooms. This carpet does appear to be about 10 years old, but what I noticed was it didn't have any major stains on it. I did not notice anything that really stood out. So it may be older, it may be worn down some, but it looks to be something that was an expensive carpet 
and someone has taken very good care of it. Overall, my opinion of this house has been that it is very clean. Um, the appliances all seem to be in good condition. They are, they could use a little bit more cleaning, but the bathrooms are very clean. The entire house is very clean. It may be that the owner has lived in it for a long time and has taken very good care of it. It doesn't appear that it's been a rental for long, or maybe whoever was the renter took very good care of this house. Um, I, this is a great area. Um, you're close to Preston Road. Uh, there's a lot of restaurants and shopping very close by. You have one of everything in Frisco. The schools right here are top notch. You cannot go wrong with Frisco ISD. And you are a straight shot down Coit or a straight shot down Preston to that area code, that zip code that you were telling me that you wanted to be close to. So in my book, this one gets an A.